Now, the cool thing about zebras is that scientists don't know if zebras are black with white stripes or white with black stripes. And guess what? The stripes of zebras are different. Meaning that no two zebras have the same type of stripe pattern. Let me say it again. No two zebras have the same type of stripe patterns. To humans, they may look all the same. But to other zebras, they can't identify which zebra is who. Now zebras spend a majority of the time grazing. They're herbivores, so that means they eat plant material like grass. But at the same time, they always have to keep an eye out for predators because predators are always trying to eat them. But zebras also are very peaceful animals. They get along with a variety of animals. Like I mentioned before, like wood beasts, elephants. Now, zebras sometimes are in most danger when they go to drink water. Water holes in Africa are dangerous places for animals that's considered prey animals, like zebras and wildebeest. Not only there are lions and leopards and hyenas waiting for them by the water, there are also crocodiles, huge crocodiles that love to eat zebras as soon as zebras try to drink water. The Nile crocodile is a very intimidating predator. These guys get huge and they love to eat zebras, wildebeest, whatever they can catch. So these zebras have to be very, very careful because crocodiles are very good hunters. With their powerful jaws, they can easily drag a zebra underwater to drown them and then eat them. So, unfortunately, that's the life of a zebra. Beautiful animals, but, you know. Crocodiles are also very patient animals, patient predators. They don't mind waiting for hours if it means that they get to eat a zebra. Will the beast are also on the crocodile's menu. Especially when they're migrating. Crocodiles know exactly when the wildebeest are migrating and they wait for them. And lions, <laughs> lions definitely go to the water hole to drink water, but to also see if they can catch a zebra or an impala or any other prey animal. So this wildebeest is playing around, but has to be very, very careful, especially with him being so close to the water. This lioness is looking at the wildebeest. I think she's hungry. She might want to try to eat the wildebeest or the zebra. But it looks like she just wanted to drink some water. Giraffe, the tallest land animal on earth. Very peaceful animal. The long necks and powerful body. Most predators do not mess with giraffes, but sometimes lions will try to eat giraffes, especially in desperate times. And zebras have been known to interact with giraffes. And by interact, I mean to graze with together, to be around each other. Again, it's good for protection. A zebra by itself is very, very vulnerable because predators like to pick out the prey that's isolated, that's by themselves. Wow, what an awesome episode today. Did you have fun? Because I know I did have fun. I had lots of fun. Once again, Thank you for watching another episode of Fitz Wildlife Adventures. My name is Dr. Fitz, you know, the wildlife guy. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.
Now, I want to talk about my Instagram. I want all y'all to go on your phones right now. Go to Instagram and become a follower of mine. You can find me at Dr. Fitz underscore wildlife and become a follower. 